So this is now the third episode of the Project 9.5. My microphone just broke with the nice wind muff on it, so that's cool. So if there's a little bit of wind noise in this intro, I apologize. But this is my cheap 9.5 that I recently bought. Last episode, we got it running. We put a new twice in it and got it running. And now when I just tried to move it into the driveway, it kept dying on me. So there's a whole nother entire issue to deal with in a future video. But today we're going to be uh, detailing and cleaning this giant, giant mess. There is just garbage everywhere in this car. I bought this air freshener so it doesn't smell nearly as bad as it used to, but the real bad spot is right here. So I've actually cleaned out, I shouldn't say cleaned out, I've removed a lot of the bigger items so far, but I'm going to be having Mike helping me out today. He's got a nice detailing business here in the Phoenix area. And he, we're going to go over his setup and all, kind of the process he's going to use, but got some nice string cheese right there as well. And he's going to uh, get this car looking much, much nicer. I mean, the seats are disgusting as well. You got like spoons. So Mike here at Full Ride Out Detail, and we're going to be taking care of the interior on this 9.5 for uh, Jacob here. Uh, so we have our microfibers we're going to be using, drill brush. Um, we got a leather brush, boar's hair brush, and uh, bristle brushes to help clean out cracks and crevices, carpet brush. Um, see, we have a variety of chemicals here. Anyone that tells you that one manufacturer is the best to go with, not the case. Uh, plenty of good products out there for any DIYers out there that want to do it themselves. Um, we have a quick detailer for the leather um, to use after we use the cleaner. We got a diluted water vinegar solution to tackle the mold that's inside of the car. Um, just a basic cleaner. Carpet, carpet spot remover that also functions as a uh, detergent when you're doing your carpet extraction. Best glass cleaner ever. Um, we have our steamer um, that's going to help take out the rest of the mold and get any deep, deep soiling out. Our carpet extractor and then obviously our shop back over here ready to go. What's the name of your, your business Full again? Right Auto Detailing. Give us a like on Facebook. Um, if you're in the Saab community, then uh, I'm your go-to guy in uh, Arizona. Yeah, he does all this stuff for the Saab community and he's gonna make that car look a lot better. <laughs> First thing we noticed here was this insulation is just absolutely soaked and filled with a ton of mold just under in this area. So it's the uh, first, first task, I guess. I'm trying to figure out the extent of this. <laughs> of something all backed up so they could have oh, had, nice. had a resident yeah an extra visitor some down there so. yeah. no, i don't even know it's under that thing oh. spider webs this is all rusted in here you oh, know yeah, so we pulled this up some There's mold down one. here too on the tire here oh yep so they had they had some homies living there that's great Here. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I sprayed all that instead of just tearing it all out again. Oh, 
Mike has been hard, hard at work on the carpet. There's way more mold than we had thought, so he is just absolutely killing it. Just a huge, huge thank you to him. That's his Saab, by the way. Not sure if I showed it. 2008 9.3 Combi, six-speed manual, Aero. Pretty, pretty rare, to say the least. Pretty cool. But this side is a, a work in progress. That is an update on this side. Yeah, it looks, looks like chocolate milk. <laughs> Everybody's favorite thing. That's just from the carpet on the passenger side. So we've got all four doors cleaned. I've actually been helping out a bit, believe it or not. So all four doors are cleaned, carpets are all vacuumed and uh, everything, but we're going to do a steam now of a lot of this, but look at how much better this looks. I mean, it's definitely not perfect. I just went over the uh, back seats. It's a little bit of creasing here on the leather and the seat belt is like stuck shut, so that's gonna have to be a an issue to deal with at a later date, but generally speaking, I mean, just look at how much whiter, whiter that looks. It's beautiful, but uh, I'm gonna let Mike get back to doing his thing. And uh, besides this down here, we're starting to get, starting to get pretty close to being done. Smells so much better in here too, by the way. It smells like actually good in here. <laughs> It has been a long afternoon worth of work, but look at how good this has all come out. So we're just letting it dry out a little bit more, then we'll throw the seats back in. But I mean, just look at that. So Mike has really, really worked his magic. We just put the seats back in, and I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'll get to this later though, um, but I wanna promote Mike here one last time. I mean, just look at this. Look at how amazing, it smells so amazing. It's not because of that. It's just amazing the night and day difference. The night and day difference. I mean, he did a fantastic job. So if you're in Arizona, or even if you're not in Arizona and you happen to come by, just give Mike's Facebook page a like. I will put that at the top of the description box as well as his Instagram. Make sure you give him a follow. But next I'm gonna have him help me out with the Turbo X and then maybe help me out with the exterior on this car. But uh, obviously I'm gonna put this as a priority. But now we have this car running. I mean, you can see uh, he only did the interior. Uh, I gotta take a shot back, get all these leaves out and probably clean around here first as well. But Lucas had the brilliant idea of just swapping in a new DI cassette and <laughs> Lo and behold, it fired right up with a little jump start from the Turbo X and it's running absolutely beautifully. So in the next video, we'll be taking this car uh, for its maiden voyage, um, but we're really running out of sunlight here. So the goal right now is to probably go park this somewhere close by, get some pictures of it for the reveal. 
uh, because I haven't even actually revealed this car and I put all this work into it already. But guys, I am so, so happy. So once again, huge shout out to Mike. I mean, there was so much mold that he didn't know about until he got here that I admittedly didn't know about either, which is kind of unfortunate. I feel bad, um, but he just, amazing guy. Sob guy as well. So give his Facebook page and Instagram a like. I mean, he just, he spent his entire day doing this for me. So thank you all so much for watching. Episode four coming next on this beautiful Arbor Green 9.5. I'll see you all next time.